I don't know about y'all, but this episode of Housewives was boring as hell. I was not checking. I'm already ready. I'm turned up for the next episode, okay? I am so glad that Greg has teamed up with Dora to find his damn nuts, baby, because he was about to Joe Jack fucking Uncle B in the ass. And that shit was so damn funny. Oh my gosh, I can't do these little fillers and shit. But y'all already doing this long ass season. This season is entirely too long. I'm ready for the reunion. I'm ready for the reunion. That's what I'm ready for. I'm tired of looking at this stuff. It's getting re repetitive. I'm tired of Kenya Moore talking about how fat Phaedra is, how shady she is. I'm tired. I'm just tired of Kenya with this fake pregnancy bullshit. I'm just sick of all of I'm ready for the reunion so we can talk about what's going to get the bullshit out the damn way and talk about what we need to talk about. I'm just I'm just kind of I'm I'm head up to here with this it's just too long. It's too long and I appreciate you all for you know trying to give us every bit but for this to be we on episode 18 y'all drag it's, it's 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 becoming a fool. So let's with all that being said let's go and get into the review. Lawrence, I want to know whatever medication you taking because, baby, your skin has been flawless for the last two episodes, the whole trip, okay? Get it to Lawrence Gibb because I don't know if he had a whole bunch of makeup on or what, but his face was beat. I don't know if he had makeup on or whatever. And um, Kenya, I'm still you, I'm, I'm tired of you sitting here talking about the fact that, uh, you know, it's Mexico, dollar girl. You ought to feel right at home because ain't that, what you bought, ain't that where you bought your goddamn body? Okay, didn't you get your ass shots there? Did you not get your ass implants and your stuff reupholstered and stuff? Come on now. Can you kill it? Kill it with the kill it with the crap, honey. And you know what? I'm not gonna get started yet. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Is is this the Kenya show? Okay, I like Kenya sometimes. Okay, but it seems like it's becoming overbearing. I'm tired of her always throwing a little shade, and I'm, I'm just tired of it. Like I can understand a little bit, but she's like, hey, he's doing it. all this confessional. She always doing extra stuff. Like she just taking over. Okay, we ain't Nene ain't saying nothing. Like for the last Nene, I guess Nene has. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they have cut some stuff out. And, but Nene, you better watch out, boo, because I, like I said, your powers are, are fading, boo. The wig is, you know, we're starting to be able to tell that it's not, it's, it's not your hair. Um, your titties are starting to fall back down, and then you're back doing um, club appearances. So, Nene, you're you're losing your power, and you're, and you're losing your ref, your, um, your relevance. So, I, I I'm, I'm gonna need you to do something about it. Um, did y'all see the way Nene has? Because I'm not gonna be talking about everything happening. Let me tell you something. Justin Jane ain't one of the old folk. I'm not going to talk about what happened from beginning to end. I'm, I'm just not going to get into the key points and keep on going. I, I don't have time to be drawing all of it, but y'all don't give a damn about this shit anyway. Did y'all get into the fact when Nene walked, when um, Miss Lawrence was walking up inside Nene's um, thing and she was Nene was packing, she started snapping at Miss Lawrence like, yes, yes. And Lawrence gave her the look that I know I give folks like, bitch, I'm not your pet gay. Like, uh uh, like I only do that shit for I only do that shit for Kenya. I ain't doing that shit for you, and that's exactly how I be doing some. Let me tell you something. I know you're sitting on some tea. I know you're sitting on some tea. Let me tell you something. I am not one of those kids. Stop doing folk like that, honey. Everybody ain't finna be barked your command. We ain't no damn pets. And Lawrence looked at Nene ass. That shit was so damn funny. Um, uh, when when we got to the part where they were praying for Kenya and her pregnancy and pulling her vagina back up to par so it can be useful. And do what it's supposed to do, okay? Why was Miss Lawrence ass smelling the smoke and shit? Why was she over there? Like, was was that the ritual she's doing to keep her skin, you know, sucking souls into her skin so it can continue, so she can continue to look youthful, okay? What, what I didn't understand, like Miss Lawrence, you're not, you don't have a vagina. I don't think you have a vagina. I mean, what what was your purpose? Are you getting pregnant? Are you getting a woman pregnant? I mean, I, I just didn't, I didn't understand what the hell you were there for. Um. Then another thing I'm going to talk about. Kenya, you had on this red Resident Evil looking dress. And I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it because you, your body is sickening. But baby, when you sat down, it looked like a, it looked horrible. You look like a, a, a froze, a, a freeze frame of a mudslide, baby. Because your skin was falling down. It was, it just looked real nasty. And it didn't look ladylike at all. You should not wear something like that, honey. That was disgusting. Don't ever put that foolish shit ever. Don't put that foolish shit ever on again, baby. Because you looked a damn fool when you sat down. It, it, it was just, your body was doing too much. Now, you're sick and you're always the wild card 
when you're standing up. But baby, we can tell that you have had a couple of tummy tucks, and we can tell that you really don't um, that you used Obamacare to pay for your stuff because your shit ain't up to par. Like we can tell you didn't use your own private insurance to pay for it because you you we can tell you using uh, Medicaid or something with your old ass. But you know, I live I live for. Let me tell you who else. Cynthia. I hope this is your last damn season. I hope in the reunion that you tell us that you are going on to something else. You and you, Peter, for to open up a franchise for bar one because I, I, I'm i tired of you. Okay. How in the hell, Cynthia, is your damn husband, as black as he is, okay, a better housewife than you are? I don't understand that, Cynthia. How is he a better housewife than you? He he got a firm grip on the peaches. You, 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 he juggling the damn peaches. Okay, he juggling all the peaches. And you can barely hold on to this peach, girl. You can barely hold on to a yogurt parfait. Like, what is your... What Cynthia did... Cynthia, we, we twerking. Cynthia asked him want to get in the damn pool. And, and we're getting in the pool. I, I, I got on this and da 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 Then she went from not wanting to get in the pool. Then she... Then when they, I was twerking, getting their life and having a fun time. She started doing the damn robot. Girl, no wonder you and Peter ain't having sex, kind of, because you don't like you have no ca no passion. It was no passion at all. Like Cynthia, damn, are you just tired of being on the housewives? Because if you are, girl, give the peach to your husband and let him step forward, okay? Because bitch, we about to eliminate your ass, Peter. But you, um, uh, you know what, Cynthia, you're not a tribute no more, honey. We Peter gonna step in front of your ass. He gonna take your place. Cause you bored and shit. We got to make the games interesting. Your husband has been doing a good job. Uncle Ben fried rice eating ass has been doing what he's supposed to. Like I ain't gonna lie, Peter be having me laughing sometimes. Uncle Ben be doing the most. Okay, and like much love said, he ain't got up but one more time to, to get it do get into some shit before she drag his ass. So <laughs> I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for much love to drag uh I'm ready for her to drag Peter ass, cause that shit will be funny. Moving on swiftly and professionally. Um what else? What else? What else, what else going on? That we get into the whole the cigar whole thing at uh Kenya Walker, dry crusted chin ass, and then she sit down, she talk. Let me tell you, this is part off in a drag Kenya ass. Kenya, and, and let's let's talk about everything. This this is the, the Kenya dragon session, okay? Kenya, I'm not feeling you, period. Okay, I, I like you. I love what you're doing for the show. You're making it entertaining and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not feeling you with this whole you want to be pregnant type of bullshit. Because you are an actress, and baby, you might not have been doing a real, real good shit, but you know how to be real messy and get people to give you airtime and camera time. Because baby, you went from making three hundred thousand dollars on on Bravo, um, the first the first season you was on to seven hundred thousand, baby. Like I said, you are taking Nene's power, but you're getting on my damn nerves. All this extra ass bullshit you're doing, like you don't have a fucking husband, first of all. So why the fuck are you even on the goddamn show? That's what I'm trying to understand. It seemed like you had something against Portia, um, like you just. You have some kind of vendetta against her. At least she had a husband on the beginning of the show. You've never had one. You talk about this goddamn prince, but yes, you're still riding in the goddamn rent. We've yet to see his ass. And then the fact that you're sitting here talking about some, you want a damn child, but you don't have a damn man. I don't understand it. How you going, you know, I thought, and that's how, that, that's how I know when somebody ass is either gay or something's not right. For them to say that they were... Oh shit, excuse me. That, that's that bullshit. That's that damn bullshit because I'm allergic to goddamn Kenya. Her face is drying the fuck up, looking like a goddamn moon debris. debris. Okay, I'm just sick of Kenya always. I'm, I'm sick of her a little bit because she's so goddamn extra. Then she want to play this whole. Well, I, I'm crying. Her eyelashes falling down. Her makeup dripping and dropping like wet paint. And then she just crying and stuff to myself. She want a baby. And she doing all this extra stuff. Kenya, get you a man first, okay? Get you a man first. And I don't know how old you are. I'm not saying older women shouldn't have babies. But your biological clock is ticking, boo. You need to go and give birth to a child. You need to do something if you want to. And I, I really don't think that you want to. Anyway, I think you're playing that shit for the cameras. Because how in the hell did you take your crusty face ass from talking about you want a child to even the next day or the next hour or the next week or whatever, to sit him here trying to talk to Apollo ass and talking to this married man. You have no right talking to that man trying to get him by himself to have a conversation. You have no right doing that shit at all. I'm sick of your oatmeal chin ass. 
I'm I'm just not understanding why are you this whole storyline, Bravo. I'm sick of I'm sick of hearing about Kenya and Apollo. We know that shit ain't goddamn real. Okay, we know that shit is not goddamn real. And Apollo, you shouldn't be trying to talk to her, period. You shouldn't be trying to talk to her at all. If she got that stuff, if she trying to talk, you need to just walk the hell on off. Maybe you need some camera time, too, so you can pay for your, your lawyer fees. But, baby, I'm just not featuring this whole Apollo, and I wish they'll fuck or get whatever, because I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. Maybe Apollo need to give Kenya ass a damn, baby. But, child, did y'all get into the way Miss Lawrence had walked her ass up? Miss Lawrence had walked her ass up to sit with Trey for cigar, and baby, they pay. They looked at his ass like, "Oh, this motherfucker, why he sitting down?" Hey, Miss Lawrence, let me tell you something, baby. I don't have those problem. I go out with my straight friends or hang out with some straight people. I don't have that problem with straight men. You just maybe you just you know you enjoy doing what you want to do, but Miss Lawrence, you be too much to sometimes. Like when you was on that damn bus, you doing that twirling shit. Like bitch, you could have just twerked and shit. You always just want to be a goddamn diva, so not, and I just don't be featuring that shit. And they turned their heads so damn quick. Miss Lawrence, sit that tired ass shit down. Stop being a token fag in a handbag. Okay, moving on. Um, just like I'm saying, Kenya is just doing too much. This whole episode was boring as hell. Okay, I'm not really that turned up because the shit was turned down. This watered down ass episode. And Andy Cohen, your ass, you blonde chick, you need to get the shit together. Give us a better shit. You need to do something because this shit is this episode was boring. I feel like I'm reading a damn manga for fucking Naruto. Like I'm just reading just. Bunch of bullshit, y'all going back and forth to silly shit that I don't care to discuss or just care to even watch. It's just not, it's not interesting. This whole episode was dry, just dry as fucking Kenya's goddamn top fucking chin. Okay, the fucking all this right here. And Kenya, you sitting here talking about some. You know what? You need to get pregnant because I heard when women get pregnant, you need to take. Whatever that you need to take that um the fluid out the umbilical cord and you need to squeeze that shit on your damn face. You need something, honey, because I'm just not understanding what's going on. Like, are you still going through puberty? I hate to drag her ass though, but Kenya need to be. You know what? She needs to be goddamn dragged because Kenya is doing the damn most with this silly ass. And I'm not featuring you instead of talking about some. Hey, when your baby, hey, when your baby, but we've yet to see the the African prince. Where is he? Okay, can we get Dora to find the African prince? Where is he at? Okay, and then you still doing this tight ass shit with Apollo. Like, girl, nobody's nobody's feeling nobody's featuring this shit. First of all, like I'm saying, this whole episode was boring. I could have done without it. Um, it's just a long ass commercial to the next episode. But you know that it is what it is. Um, that's all I got to talk about, y'all. Like my video, share it, do whatever you want to. And I'm going to see y'all next Sunday, honey. Hopefully, we have some good shit to talk about. And hopefully, we'll be turned up. But, baby, this episode was dry as hell. It was dry as Majestic's purse, okay? Those for you, those of, of you who remember Majestic, honey, it was dry as her damn purse, okay? Because y'all know ain't no coins in her shit. But uh, moving on, Swift and Flesh Professional. Like, I'm all shit. I'm tired, y'all. been driving all goddamn day. And shit, I'm tired as hell. But um, like I said, subscribe to me, Justin J1232. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, all that kind of stuff. And I'll talk to y'all later. Um, shout out to the Scorpion Show. I appreciate them for uh giving me, you know, Kevin for giving me a plug into his channel with his last video. Um, check into I love the Scorpion Show. They're funny as hell. And I can actually just sit like I heard much them in much love. I just listen to for an hour and I do what I need to do and get my life. I love both of y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later, deuces, bye.